Hello, my name is Mr. Nihilus74, and this video is about how to set up a an effects chain on the G1 Exxon Zoom G1 Exxon guitar multi effects processor. I have my Zoom G1 Exxon connected to my computer with the cheap bang ringer interface USB computer interface that has audio inputs and outputs so I'm going to start with the very first C bank right now it has a factory preset in it so what I'm going to do so I'm going to erase all the effects in it. Delete effect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my own effects. When you're setting up effects on the zoom, you use this knob here and you turn it to go to the choices that you want. Add effect. And then we're going to hit the enter button. And the first effect I'm going to add is a graphic EQ. And that's under the Dyna filter category. And then when you choose to add the effect, it asks you where you want to put it. This is going to be my first effect in the effect in the effect chain. So we're going to go ahead and press enter. And then we're going to press the up arrow button until we get the graphic EQ. And then we're going to press the enter button so that we can set up our graphic EQ settings. This is a six band EQ. try to set it in a way that gives me a bit of a mid mid boost And it gives you a level. I'm just going to leave it at 100%. So you can use that like as a boost if you wish. And then I'm going to hit the home button. And it's going to take me back to my effects chain. Right now just the graphic EQ. And the bypass is on there.
Well, this is Mr. Nihilist74 with my Zoom G1X on guitar multi effects processor. The first part of the video, I set up a graphic EQ as the first effect in my effect chain. I also just wanted to give a quick demonstration in case I wasn't very clear on that on how you select your effects and how the controls work. So the next effect I'm going to add is a distortion pedal. This round knob here is kinda like your mouse. You turn it and it cycles through all the different effects choices that are all the choices that you have. Right now I'm on add an effect delete an effect effect chain that's a setting you can go into where you can change the order of your effects if you need to patch settings that's like overall volume of a particular patch and things like that so if you have like a lead patch you can set the volume to it higher than your rhythm patch or whatever way that you would need to do that so we're gonna add and that's just cycling through the effects now first effect is the graphic EQ and then there's just the bypass on there so I'm gonna add an effect so I use the round knob to cycle over to add effect and then I'm gonna hit enter and this takes me to the effects categories the next effect I'm gonna get is gonna be the distortion pedal so I'm going to choose the OD slash DIST, which is overdrive slash distortion. I used the round knob to cycle to it. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then it's going to ask me, where do I want to put the effect? I'm going to put this effect after the graphic EQ. That number one is the graphic EQ, the number two is the bypass. So I'm going to use the round knob to circle over after the number one pedal which is the graphic EQ and then I'm going to hit enter. And then now it's going to take me to the bank that tells me what effects are available. First one is a booster, got an overdrive, tube screamer, that's like a Marshall governor pedal, that's like a boss distortion pedal, and that's probably more like the boss distortion pedal. Squeak, fuzz pedal, great muff, like the muff pedals, like people like Billy Corgan and the Smashing Pumpkins like to use looks like a metal zone kind of distortion pedal I'm gonna cycle through to the ones I want I'm gonna take the extreme distortion because I like high gain and then I'm gonna hit enter and then it takes me to the settings on the pedal the first settings is the gain so I'm gonna hit the enter button on gain and then you see how it cycles down to the number then I can hit the round knob and I can turn it until I got all the until I set the number to what I would like so I'm gonna set it to 80 and then the tone 
if I set it lower, it'll give it more low end. If I set it higher, it'll give it more high end. And set it to about 65. Once you have these set, you can always go back and change them. You can even play while you're adjusting them. You can play your guitar while you're adjusting them, and you can hear the difference. So that's my distortion pedal. Got my graph GQ, my distortion pedal. I got this bypass here. Bypass doesn't really do anything. They just put that there if you erase all the effects. So I'm going to go ahead and erase it. So now I just got my graphic EQ and my distortion pedal. If you're getting a lot of feedback or noise, you can add another effect. And you can go to the DYN slash FLTR category, which is sounds like it's short for dynamic one slash filter. And we're going to place this on the end here. This is the zoom noise reduction that seems to work really well for this. It especially works well on your lead presets where you might have some delays and some modulation like some chorus or some flanger or phaser that might cause a lot of na noise. So we got our threshold. I think I'll turn that up to 15. I'm going to set that to guitar in. Okay. So now I have a basic rhythm distortion set up and we're gonna see how it sounds I have a basic Epiphone standard guitar stock connected to this that I'm playing Hello, this is Mr. Nihilus74 continuing on with my Zoom G1X on multi effects processor demonstration. And after I have the distortion and the graphic EQ and the noise reduction set up, this is how it sounds. <laughs> 